Hi, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, I was supposed to record another tutorial video today, but because I'm actually recording a lot of tutorials recently, I'm a little bit behind on the casual stuff like, uh, you know, just random garden projects and maintenance and cleanups and such. So I thought, well, why not? Let's just record some ordinary video of just a little garden maintenance. I hope that you will find it relaxing and maybe even inspiring. Um, so maybe just grab your coffee and follow along sort of garden with me type of video, if that makes any sense. And uh, yeah, let's go. First, I'm going to remove the frost guard from my hydrangeas. During the first week of April, we experienced a very unusual cold snap. I covered my hydrangeas with a fleece because they already have flower buds and I was worried they might get damaged by frost. Today I also have a few plants to repot. First, my aloe. I keep this plant year round on my balcony and surprisingly it grows really well in part shade. It produced a lot of baby plants so I want to give them more room to grow. I separate them by gently pulling them apart from the mother plant. They don't have roots yet so you could either root them in water or just like me plant them directly in soil but wait a few days before watering them so that the wound has time to heal. I don't have a succulent and cacti potting mix today so I will use my universal potting mix and I will be very careful when watering because this potting mix holds on to a little bit more moisture than the specific cacti potting mix. Next is my houseplant begonia. It wasn't doing well since I bought it and I noticed that it was grown in this piece of fabric. They are supposed to decompose but they never do in my experience and I feel like this affects the plant's health. Time for hosta. I inspect the roots because I'm always worried I will find wine weevil grubs. I gently tease the roots before planting. I'm adding compost and a mix of old and fresh potting soil. I deadhead my spring bulbs, but I keep the leaves until they turn completely yellow. It's important for bulbs to charge so that they can flower next year. I usually keep my bulbs in their pots, but this time I will simply repot them to plastic containers because I really want to plant my summer bulbs already in these galvanized buckets. I don't like to cut flowers from my balcony, but I wanted to make a cute Instagram picture with daffodils and it failed, <laughs> so I created a little bouquet instead. I will plant lettuce and radish in this concrete pot. First, I will transplant the seedlings I started indoors a while ago. What is great about lettuce is that it's really easy and really quick to grow, and you don't even need direct sunlight for most varieties. You can start them indoors, you can sow seeds directly, or you can buy a seed tape where the seeds are already spaced properly. So you just make a small trench of 1.5 cm and simply bury the seed tape in it. I'm also planting some Asian greens, which is basically just a loose leaf lettuce varieties. Radish can also be grown in part shade, but it will take a bit more time to ripen.
When I purchased my seeds, I received a free package of Morning Glory. It's a climbing plant with beautiful blue flowers. I have never grown it before, so I'm excited to give it a try this year. In November, I planted a lot of pansies on top of my dormant perennials to not have empty looking pots. So now, when my plants are actively growing, I'm going to remove the pansies. I smiled because I saw a bumblebee on my mascara. Now I just have to water everything. I hope that you enjoyed today's garden with me video. Thank you for joining me and I wish you a great day!